All right, so today we're gonna to talk about the Deviant Race Parts Return Fuel Tank Sump Kit. I got the black anodized aluminum one. The part number is 60208. Um, I ordered mine through Alligator Performance. Uh, just trying to spread some stuff out, kind of all in one shopping, not saying that they're the best, not saying they're the worst. I have no complaints with them. Everything arrived super, super fast. Um, paid for the free shipping, so I guess we didn't really pay, but uh, free shipping and all this stuff showed up two days later. Uh, I've got a five inch cat back exhaust, uh, Caltrax, uh, fleece, fuel filter, head delete, uh, Edge CTS-3 with the EIS expandable series. Uh, I got a fast 165 and an SMB intake. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about this Deviant uh, fuel tank sump in return. Um, talk about a couple of reasons why I chose this uh, and some things that I like about this kit. Um, first things first, you open up your box, you've got your instruction manual, you've got your sealed bag of parts fittings you got your bolts for holding it together you got uh, your o-ring for making a nice good seal uh, they've got some more information in here about a fast uh, fast is all I've ever ran all I like to use um, deviant also has a lot of UTV stuff uh, they're out of Idaho um, I know uh, there's been some guys Chris Roscoe uh, Used to be, I don't know, I've been kind of out of the game a little bit, but uh, Chris Roscoff used to do a lot of cool stuff with his LB7. And, uh, I mean, they're an American-based company, and I, I like, I love them. I mean, they do a lot of cool stuff. You can follow them on Instagram uh, and Facebook and check them out. Um, but I've used Deviant for a few sumps. Uh, my last 08, 67 Cummins had... Uh, a deviant sump on that as well at that time they did not have a return sump um so i just had a regular one but uh the, when we talk about the return sump i will uh i guess i'll kind of get a little bit more into that in a little bit but i should keep showing you everything here this is your sump bowl see if we can get some reflection on there so that's got deviant's new logo in there um this is the actual bowl itself I know the lighting is not that great. I'm just hanging out here in my garage. Uh, we got your two ports there. And then this is the piece that sits up inside your tank. Nice billet aluminum. Very, very nice. It's shiny. Too bad it's going to be hidden. Um, you do get a super awesome sticker. You can put on your ride, your toolbox, whatever. Give it to the kids. They'll love it. Um, when we talk about return style sump, what we're talking about is you got your normal sump. Typically you'll see just a bowl, this will be pretty empty. Uh, and then you've got your, your top plate, which just kind of sits on top. Deviant has a, a nice style where they use two bolts to clamp it together. You have a nice thick O-ring. I never had problems with mine leaking. Uh, I believe the kid that still has my truck, I don't believe that he's ever had a leak with his sump. Uh, a lot of people at my work have kind of talked about, oh, well, customers are worried that um, they might go through a cornfield or something like that or go through a ditch or something and, and tear this off. This, guys, this is literally only an inch. This will only be down an inch lower than your fuel tank. Uh, so if you're going through stuff like that, you probably don't need to be running a factory tank. Um, I've never heard of anybody ripping one off solely based on hitting hitting the bulk piece of aluminum here. Um, I, I've never heard of that. Uh, I'm not saying it hasn't happened, uh, I've just never heard of it, it's not as common. Uh, but you got your bowl, uh, the re regular sums only have one port over here. Deviant makes theirs. You can kind of see it there. They've got it labeled. This one's the feed with an F. And this one's labeled with an R. That's for your return. So if I got my return right here on this side, the fuel is going to return here. It's going to come back up into my tank. The F or the feed right here, this is going to 
be your bowl. This is where all the fuel is going to be low. It's going to gravity feed down here and it's going to suck out to your pump. Uh, Deviant uses a two bolt mount, like I've kind of said already. That's this bolt and this bolt here. And then they have an integrated drain, which, uh, you know, if, if you ever need to do like a fuel sample, uh, if you ever for some reason need to drain your tank or something like that, for whatever reason, it's super, super nice that you can do that. Um, I'm talking about this kit specifically. They machine this piece here uh, to fit specifically one way. There's very little room there for it to move at all. So everything's gonna be pretty well lined up right off the get-go. A couple things I wanna talk about here. Obviously, you've got a thicker part here. This is where your bolt's gonna be actually grabbing the good threads. It's gonna be clamping tight. This is for where your, your feed is. So the fuel, this is gonna sit inside your tank. You just flip this up in your hole, bring it down. This is uh, gonna allow fuel to freely flow into your fuel bowl. If you wanna look here and here, we can turn it this way and you can kinda of see them. This is for if the, on the flat of the tank there on the bottom, the fuel can still enter the bowl. So when we put this like this in here, we'll have an O-ring here, but the fuel could still slip through those little holes there. Um, that's super nice, that's super handy, so that way you don't have, you know, a little bit of fuel sitting in the bottom of your tank and you're still trying to figure out, well, what the heck's going on? Um, so that takes care of the feed side of it. If you come over here to the, to the return side, you got your return. This matches up with this port right here. Just simply returns in your tank. It'll return here and here as well. But it also gives you ample room to return right there. Um, like I said, it only mounts one way. You can't clock it any other different way, uh, which is pretty nice. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you got a couple barb fittings here. So you'll put your, your blue line for your fast on there. You'll thread it in with some thread tape. You'll be set to go. Uh, like I said, you're just going to want to make sure you get the feed and the return right. Uh, you've got your bolts here, some, some nice quality stainless Allen head bolts. Uh, you've got some washers, they have rubber in there to help make a seal. And then you've got your uh, drain plug. So with that, I think we may start, I don't know, it's kind of starting to rain, kind of yucky out today. Um, we may not do this tonight, but we'll see, I'll try and film as much of it as I can. Um, maybe we can go over a little bit of the truck, but, uh, I chose Deviant number one because I had good experience with them before. Number two, uh, they're an American made company or American company. They do all their stuff here in America. It's all made in the United States. And, uh, I'm a vet and that's something that I will gladly 100% support. Um, so anything that I, I get or try to make sure it's made in the United States. So. With that, I'm going to try and get some footage of us installing this kit. Uh, I'm, I haven't really looked through the instructions, don't really need to. I've kind of installed a few of these, uh, but they are nice. They do include pictures. They tell you what you need to be, what you need to be doing. Um, you know, deburn the tank before you mount it in there. Uh, just everything. Gives you, gives you everything. It's pretty straightforward. It's got pictures for those of you that a little harder to read. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, gives you torque specs. It's, it's pretty straightforward kit. Um, and it's made in the United States. So I guess that's, uh, that's the biggest thing for me. Uh, so with that being said, I'll try and get some footage of, uh, of the installation here and we'll go from there. Thank <laughs> you.